There is a new scam that's happening on Facebook that some of my clients almost got tricked by. It looks like this in the notification fan page policy issue verification info mentioned, you know, your, your fan page. And then if you click on it, it opens up to a post that looks something like this. Now I know right away that this isn't Facebook because, well, I've been around Facebook, uh, business stuff for a long time. And I know that this is not, uh, whoops. This is not the typical uh, kind of notification from Facebook. A notification might look something like this uh, and or, you know, it, there are certain flags uh, that we notice, but something that looks kind of, um, yeah, this, this just doesn't uh, doesn't look right to me. And when I went to the post, it does absolutely doesn't look right to me. Well, um, uh, so don't click on it. Don't click on something like this, but I want to show you what happens if we do click on it. So I'm going to go ahead and go into an incognito window and go to, go to that link and see what it looks like. Uh, I bet it's going to try to, yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. This is an example of a phishing site. What's a phishing scam? It makes it, well, they do a poor job, but they, they try to make it look like it's from Facebook. But if you, um, or Meta, uh, and it, and they, and people who are, you know, un unaware of this kind of thing will go, okay, well, let me go ahead and put in my Facebook or my email address and Facebook password and click conf confirmation, which is also kind of, um, for the safety of users. I mean, I mean, you can kind of tell various little signs like capital P after a comma. It's like clearly not, uh, native. I don't think native English speakers. Plus it says, not secure at the top. Plus, even though it says Facebook in the beginning, you always have to look at the end of URL that the dot com or dot net or dot whatever right before that. This is not Facebook.com or dot net. This is DDNS. I've never heard of that website before. And they just make it look like a Facebook thing. So if I were to put in my email or phone and Facebook password in there, now they have access to my account. Now they can hack my Facebook, etc. So this is a very, common type of scam uh it's called phishing p-h-i-s-h-i-n-g so i hope you don't get taken by this and um, i hope this is helpful